Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, the contentious divorce battle between Rudy Giuliani and his third wife Judith continues to drag on in court more than a year after papers were first filed in a Manhattan court, court, courthouse, courthouse. As a result of the ongoing hostility and courtroom catfights between the pair, a trial date has now been set for January of next year. That gives the estranged couple just three months to agree to terms before a judge decides for the pair. It certainly, it certainly will not be easy as Judith believes that her husband of 15 years has been purposely holding out on her and doing everything in his power to try and downplay his wealth while she struggles to get by on a court order stipend of $500,000 per year. Judith wants an increase of approximately $250 a year from Giuliani while he wants her to hand over all the remote controls she stole from their homes. Giuliani claims that Judith ran off with his controls, cable box, silverware and plates which she is now hoarding at some unknown location forcing him to watch TV shows on his iPad. Judith has now been working hard to to get an increase in the amount Giuliani currently pays her, which was determined by the judge in the case back in February. Judge Michelle Cass ordered Giuliani to pay Judith an allowance of $42,000 each month under the terms of that agreement while also handling a majority of the couple's shared bills. Judith has said that this amount is inadequate, however, given the fact that she and the former mayor were living a $230,000 thousand dollars a month lifestyle at the time of their split. In their most recent courtroom showdown, Judith's lawyer Bernard Clare even suggested that Giuliani made the decision to become one of, the pres one of President Trump's legal advisors for the sole reason of lowering his monthly payments to his ex. Giuliani earned $7.9 million a year. $7.9 million in 2016 and $9.5 million in 2017 while working at the law firm of Greenberg Trorich, a position he suddenly left just a month after Judith filed divorce papers. His new job is pro bono and requires him to pay all expenses out of pocket when he travels. Claire said in court last, last month that this, that, this, that this ruse is fueling Giuliani's attempts to claim woe is me financially and avoid a bigger settlement with his wife. The job is not taking too severe a hit, however, with Giuliani still taking home $6.8 million last year. A good chunk of the money comes from speaking engagements which have helped to enrich Giuliani ever since he left office. Judith has also pointed out that in addition to his family, to his millions in, he, in the bank, Giuliani has also amazed a sizable real estate portfolio with six homes and memberships to 11 pricey country clubs. Those properties which include two apartments in Palm Beach, a house in the Hamptons and a Manhattan property with a monthly expense of $35,000. A Hamptons property is the only one that is solely in Judith's name, which means she has to cover in any and all expenses related to that home. It was a chance encounter and one of those 11 country clubs that led to one of more ridiculous rulings in this case back in March. There was an issue at one of the clubs last week, Giuliani's attorney told Judge Katz at the start of that hearing. We're going to ask Ms. Giuliani just to keep his distance from we're going to ask Ms. Giuliani just to keep a distance from Mr. Giuliani when they're at clubs together and their children as well and not take photographs because that's what's happening last week and I'm advised at one of the clubs. It is unclear what actually happened at the club that day but Judge Katz ultimately declared I am tired of hearing what Mr. Giuliani's personal life whoever is in the room first is allowed to stay in the room. He then closed out the day's proceedings by stating, I'm sorry that your case seems to be getting more contentious, more than, more than less contentious. I think we're going to be moving this case along to a lengthy and unpleasant trial. In an interview with the New York Times that was published on Thursday, the two certainly did not seem any closer to reaching a truce. I feel betrayed by a man that I supported in every way for, me for more than 20 years, said Judith. I'm sad to know that the hero of 9-11 has become a liar. Giuliani did not take aim to his ex in his remarks and instead compared his, situ his situation to a classic opera which ends in murder. There is a great opera, Pagliacci, he finds out. He has a much younger wife and he sees her, and he sees her kissing another man. He says, I've got to go out and laugh and my heart is breaking but this is the job I have to do, said Giuliani. Then he gives a great performance. He then added, then he kills his lover, but I wouldn't do that. 
Giuliani was married he was married to Una Hanova for 20 years prior to the third marriage leaving his second wife for his third his first marriage to Regina Perugi was annulled 14 years after he married the woman who was also his second cousin that is it for today's news guys thank you so much for watching goodbye